Hey guys, Dal Colvin with your fishing report for Bull Shoals Lake. Today is Friday, September 15th. Lake level's at 657. Water temperature came down. Uh, it's 82 degrees, give or take. We're finally getting those shorter days and cooler nights, which is very welcoming. Uh, the thermocline, it's setting up. It's starting to creep up about 30 foot, so it's fall pretty much fall fishing it's not officially fall but it's it's fishing like fall so day in day out you hear me say it's junk fishing fall could be some of the toughest fishing of the year uh, what that means is every day one day to the next like you may catch a bunch of fish on top water next day and not get bit for three more days so you're gonna have to go through your rotation and try and stay with the fish. And I'll, the reason that that happens is the shad are starting their migration into the creeks. Every year throughout the country, shad will move towards the backs of the creeks. And as that happens, the fish are gonna follow them. Um, there's still shad on the main lake and they're starting to move their way in as the days get shorter. So. I'll go over what's working for me and help you guys out a little bit. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is look at the conditions. If it's, you know, we haven't had a whole lot of rain, but if we do get those cloudy, windy, rainy days, that's prime for power fishing, covering water. Uh, I'll venture in and try and get into some of that stained water. As I go back there early in the morning, I'm probably going to start off with a buzz bait or a whopper plopper or chapo, just covering water. Uh, the big key, what you're looking for in the fall is gonna be targeting these bait fish. Uh, these shad are moving around. As they're moving around, they can be up on the flats. They can kind of be anywhere. So covering water is gonna help you out. Uh, chatterbait, square bill. And a lot of the times I'm looking for rock obstructions on the shoreline, off the shoreline, rock piles, brush piles, anything of that nature. Uh, also the big worm, a big worm is still catching some fish. If you find any of those lay downs towards the back and that stained water or, you know, those brush piles, uh, it's just that time of year, you're just going to have to keep moving and keep searching now if i get up and it's another f flat bluebird not a cloud in the sky day uh, i'm going to start off my morning with the top water if i'm in the clear water i'm probably going to use a popper or a small walk the dog style bait uh, that's a lucky craft gunfish there uh, you guys you can always catch them on a jig if you put the if you're a jig fisherman uh just kind of hop around and you're, you're gonna run into them most days a drop shot uh these fish and these bait fish are starting to set up on points especially if they're running water a drop shot's working a lot of these fish are still suspended out over deeper water those points that run way out into the lake and kind of uh, drop off or have a swing on one side target that uh, the other thing would be like a tater shad or Like a demiki rig or a hover rig that'll catch you some fish guys It's just that time of year where things are changing uh, The fish are moving around one day is gonna be really good next day. You're gonna have to work for them. It's fall I've been on the water pretty steady not hot and heavy but if you want to get out and get a hold of me uh, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe i also do a report for game and fish every week on instagram and facebook thanks for watching